Hey guys, today we're finally going to be taking a look at some apparel from Outlier. In this video, we're going to be reviewing their slim dunkarees, the new way shorts, and also their ultra fine merino t-shirt, which I'm actually wearing. And recently I read an article that was recommended by Chase Reeves, which is from James Clear, who's the author that wrote the book Atomic Habits. Apparently he's also a very avid minimal traveler and he has an article on his blog where he talks about everything that he travels with and he packs it all into a Tom Bin Synapse 19, which is just crazy to me considering how small that bag actually is. One of the key pieces of clothing that he called out in that article are these slim dunkarees. He swears by these pants, he's been traveling with them for years, and I've heard the name Outlier in the minimal travel clothing community many, many times, so it seemed like you know it was a big name that was missing on the channel since we've looked at so many of the others. So I've been testing these out for about a month, and so far they've been great to use. I really love their overall aesthetic. They've been very comfortable to wear. They have a solid build quality, and they also come with some great travel benefits such as moisture and odor resistance. So I'm really excited to share them with you guys, and I wanna thank the company for sending the items for me to test out. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump in. Kicking things off with the Ultra Fine Merino tee. So far, this has been great to use. I really love its overall aesthetic. It's just a very simple, solid t-shirt. And in this case, simplicity equals versatility. So I'm able to use this for pretty much any activity that I wanna do during the day, whether I'm walking around in the outdoors, exploring a city, or even going out for dinner at night. And the shirt is offered in a lot of different colors. The one that I have here is the Plum Smoke color, which is kind of a faded or light purple that looks great with the New Way shorts and the SDs that I ordered. And as far as the fit, this is very true to size. I ordered this in a medium, which is the size that I normally wear, and I think it looks great. I like that it's a pretty lean cut, but it's not super tight. On the company site, they say that you know you can wash this in a machine and dry it on light heat, but that if you do dry it, you can expect the length to shrink a little bit. So besides that, the shirt you know has fit great. It feels like it moves very well with me regardless of whatever activity I'm doing. It has a nice amount of stretch, it's very lightweight. And then the key feature of this t-shirt is of course the merino fabric that it's made out of. So the fabric that's used here is a 17.5 micron merino. And so according to the company site, the lower the number of microns used in merino wool means it's gonna be softer and also more expensive. We've used a lot of different merino shirts on the channel. Some have been blended with nylon, such as the ones that we've seen from Wool & Prince. And so far, this is definitely one of the most comfortable of the merino shirts that I've tested out. It's super soft. And then of course, it has all of the merino benefits that minimal travelers love. So the shirt is very temperature regulating. I've worn this in both hot and cold climates and it's done a great job of keeping me feeling comfortable. It has natural odor resistance. So I've been able to wear this many, many days in a row without having to clean it. And then it's also fairly wrinkle resistant. So overall, it's just been a really solid experience testing this out and it's now become one of my go-to everyday shirts. Next up, we have the New Way Shorts, and this is the item that I was probably most excited to test out. As I mentioned in my video for the 1000 Miles Packable Shorts, I'm always on the lookout for versatile travel shorts that can serve multiple purposes, as I really want to reduce the number of shorts like these that I have to take with me when I'm trying to pack a really small bag. And so the New Way Shorts seem to address many of the compromises that I've noticed in other similar shorts, and it starts really with the aesthetic. These are some of the best looking travel shorts that I've tested out. They look just like normal chino shorts. And you know, this is something that I might wear on my everyday with a button down shirt or a polo shirt for just walking around in the mall or something like that or going to a lunch. But they're also, you know, versatile enough that I could use them for working out and even swimming. And you know, it's nice that even though it has those use cases, it doesn't compromise on the style. They look great with any sort of shirt that I normally like to wear them with. And then as far as the fit, the shorts have an eight inch inseam, so they're a little bit above the knee, which I really like. That keeps them looking a little classier in my opinion. And I ordered these in a size 34, and they're very true to size. They fit comfortably. And I like that you actually have a belt loop so you can you know, dress them up a little bit or just have them to kind of hold your pants up, which is something that I haven't seen with all the other travel shorts that I've tried out. And moving into the actual materials, these shorts are made out of the company's F cloth, which is a mixture of nylon and elastane. So they feel very lightweight and breathable and they also provide a nice two-way stretch, which is what makes them great for any sort of activities that you're doing, not just for walking around, but if you want to jog or if you're doing any sort of hiking or climbing or swimming, they're really gonna move very well with you. They felt great. And I like that they have a little bit of a slimmer cut, so they're not a baggy short, which I think, again, just makes them look a little bit more versatile. 
And then a nice bonus with the material here is that it has a DWR coating to add some extra weather resistance and to really make them great for swimming. And then again, because the material is so breathable, they dry very quickly when you get out of the water or if you wash them. And then wrapping up on the materials, you have a nice YKK zipper. And then this button system here is very interesting. At first, I thought this might be a point of failure just because of how this sort of sticks out. But this fabric that's used here is actually pretty durable and it so far hasn't felt like it's gonna tear. It's something that I'll keep an eye on as I use these shorts more, but I like how easy it is to thread the button through the opening and it just gives you a really secure fit. Also on the inside, you have a paracord drawstring, which allows you to adjust the fit of the pants and really tighten them, particularly if you wanna swim and you don't wanna put on a leather belt or something like that, you can take it off and then adjust the shorts with the drawstring so that they're not falling off while you're trying to swim. So they really put a lot of thought into all of the details. And then the last thing we're gonna talk about is the pockets. And you just have a very simple layout here. On the front, you have two deep pockets that are gonna be great for holding your phone or your wallet or anything else that you like to carry with you. As you can see, I can fit my hands very easily. Unfortunately, there's no sort of hidden zippered pockets as we've seen with other travel pants, but that's just a small nitpick. And one thing that I like about these pockets is that they have this flow through mesh here that's pretty stretchy. And the best thing about this is that it prevents the pockets from ballooning up when you're using these for swimming. And then on the back, you have two kind of standard pockets as well, a nice depth here that go down so you can put your phone or your wallet here if you prefer to have those in your back pocket, no sort of zippers or anything like that. So if you place something in the back, it will be a little bit more susceptible to pickpockets, but I like the depth here. They're still very usable. And overall, I just really love the versatility and the style of these shorts. And they're definitely gonna become something that I take with me on pretty much every trip. And then the last item that we're gonna be taking a look at are these slim dunkarees, which have become a staple in the minimal travel community. I've heard so much about these pants and when I first took them out of the packaging. They reminded me a lot of the Western Rise AT Slim Pants. So they just look really durable and classy. I like the aesthetic of these a lot. They look like a classic five pocket pant, which to me is a little bit of a mixture between a chino and a jean. It falls somewhere in between, but that just makes it very versatile for you know either using outdoors or for walking around the city, but also being able to dress it up for a nicer dinner or for taking it to the office. You know, that's one of the most important things to me in a travel pant is that versatility of being able to use it in a lot of those different scenarios. The pants are offered in a few different colors. The version that I have here is kind of a charcoal, which is a faded black or a darker gray. And it looks great with the plum smoke t-shirt that I ordered. And then as far as the fit, the pants come in at a pretty true to size in my opinion. I ordered these in a 34, which is the size that I normally wear. It's the same size that I ordered the New Way shorts in. And the company does warn on their site that they'll be a little bit snug when you first get them. That was the case for me, but as I've worn them more, they started to loosen up so they fit a little bit more nicely. And the cut on these is fairly lean and it's tapered, but it's not a skinny jean, so it doesn't really hug your leg tightly, similar to what you might see with the Diversion Pants from Western Rise. That's maybe a little bit more my style but I know a lot of people don't like that super skinny look so these still feel great and then as far as the inseam these come in at 32 and a half inches so a little bit longer than what I normally like to wear they were like I had had them tailored so they looked a little bit nicer on me they also sell these in a longer inseam if you're somebody who's taller and then I also like that the crotch is gusseted to give you a little bit more range of motion so you can use them for hiking or just any sort of activities that you're doing during the day and moving into the materials, the pants are made out of Outliers work cloth, which is a really nice mixture of nylon and polyester. So it actually has two faces, one on the outside and one on the inside. On the outside, it has a purely nylon face. It's a really durable and rugged canvas that feels like it's gonna hold up to rougher usage. The material also has a slight two-way stretch. I actually wish that this had been just a little bit stretchier. We've seen that in some of the other travel pants that we've reviewed on the channel. They usually have a little bit more range of motion. So something that maybe hopefully see in a future version of the SDs. Um, but the material itself still feels rugged. It's pretty lightweight and breathable. So you, know, you can wash these and it feels like they're gonna dry fairly quickly. And you can also wear them in a hotter climate and not feel overwhelmed with the temperature. And then on the inside, they have a nylon and polyester blend, which is actually a lot softer against the skin. I really love the feeling of this. It feels much more comfortable than just this exterior material and has allowed me to wear the pants for many hours at a time without feeling uncomfortable at all. And then wrapping up on the materials here, you have a nanosphere treatment that's gonna offer 
some stain and water resistance. So if you happen to spill something on you, you can just kind of wipe it off and it's just gonna help to keep the pants cleaner while you're using them so you don't have to wash them as often. And then wrapping up with some of the details here at the top, you have a YKK zipper on the front and then some steel rivets and buttons. So overall, it just feels like a very well-built pant that you're gonna be able to use for any trip and not have to worry about it falling apart on you. And then the last thing that we're gonna talk about is the pocketing. So the company keeps things pretty simple here as well. On the front, again, you just have two pretty deep pockets, which are gonna be great for your phone, your wallet, your keys. I like that they're deep so that you don't have items falling out or you know, when you're walking around, you can just have a little bit more flexibility with what you can store. You have a small pocket here on the right that might be good for some coins or maybe Apple AirPods. Not a whole lot of space here. It might've been nice to see something just a little bit deeper or maybe the inclusion of a hidden zippered pocket similar to what we've seen on Bluffworks and Western Rise pants. And then on the back, you have two standard back pockets and these are a little bit shallow especially compared to the front pockets this is something that i saw in pack hackers review as well so if you have a taller phone or something larger it may tend to maybe want to slip out especially if you sit down so you want to keep that in mind but still nice to have these included and similar to what i mentioned on the new way shorts there's no sort of zipper or button closure so you want to keep that in mind as you're walking around as they may be again susceptible to pickpockets but in general a really nice effective simple layout all throughout the pants they look great and I can definitely see why these have become such a staple in the minimal travel community as they just look great and it's definitely something that I'm gonna enjoy traveling with in the future as well. And so to wrap up, it's been a great experience testing out the Outlier Slim Dunkarees New Way Shorts and Ultra Fine Merino T-shirt over the past month. Each of these items has a great build quality. They've been very comfortable to wear. I really love the way they look and they also come with some great bonuses such as moisture and odor resistance. And so you can currently purchase these on Outlier site, starting at about $120 for the Ultra Fine Merino t-shirt, and it's a little bit more for the shorts, and then the Slim Dunkarees come in at closer to $200. So this is definitely premium pricing, similar to what we've seen on some of the other travel clothing brands that we've looked at on the channel. The Slim Dunkarees are, in particular, a little bit expensive in my opinion, but they do have a great build quality and they come with some great features. So if you're looking for clothing that's gonna help you minimize your wardrobe, then it may be worth the additional cost. And if you're interested in other similar clothing items like these, I recommend you check out the roundup videos that I've done for some of my favorite travel pants and travel shirts. And I also recommend you check out some of the in-depth videos that we've done for items such as the Lems Chucka Boots, the Vessi Cityscape Sneakers, and the Bobax Travel Sweatshirt 2.0. And if there are any similar items that you think I should check out, as always, please let me know in the comments. And I wanna thank the company again for sending the items for me to test out. And if you found this video helpful, please give us a like. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos and we'll see you in the next one.